Baltimore Express. Now it happened 74 years ago, and a lot of people you talk to don't even know what you're talking about. But to us, it was a really everyday experience. World War II veteran Albert West Sr. from Paris, Kentucky is 96 years young. He's been in parades and loves educating people about the Red Ball Express from World War II. At 20 years old, he was a Red Ball truck driver. The book says the Red Ball Express was uh, compiled of 75% of Afro-Americans, but uh, I, I don't believe that. I believe it was 99%. The truck convoy system went from Normandy to Paris and to the front along France's northeastern border. Red balls marked the route. The Department of Defense says 900 fully loaded vehicles were on the route around the clock at a top speed of 25 miles per hour. And that was part of uh, the army that kept, uh, kept the front going. He said they would drive with no headlights at night and moving supplies. West doesn't think Americans realized what he and his military brothers were doing back in 1944. General Patton, he, he appreciated that. Now he, he appreciated his um, uh, Afro-American truck driver because he knew if it hadn't have been for, for the Red Ball Express keeping supplies to the front, they'd have never, they'd have never made it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have a great time today. West was one of nearly 80 veterans selected for an honor flight bluegrass trip to Washington, D.C. Welcome to the World War II Memorial, sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. To see memorials in their honor. This over here is the Freedom Wall. All in star. All in star. All in star. Yeah. yeah. He had been to D.C. before, 15 years ago, with 17 busloads of veterans, many who have since passed away. We're starting another row. But on this day last week, he's surrounded by Kentuckiana veterans, and you can see the smiles on their faces. I'm just so proud, I don't know what to do. Don't know what to do with myself. From the reflecting pool to the gold stars honoring the lives lost, it was a day of remembrance. Some gave all and all gave some. Just a few years ago, he received France's Legion of Honor. It's awarded for extraordinary military bravery and service in times of war. What does it mean to you to have that and to be awarded that so many years later? It, it makes me feel good. It makes me feel proud. Wes also attributes his good health to going to bed early, having a positive attitude, and never really playing sports at a young age where it would wear on his body. Thank you, gentlemen. Well, this is sure a day to remember. He's now looking forward to his 97th birthday next April. I'm glad to have been one of the 16 million that were in World War II. So, and that has been a blessing within itself. Valerie Chen, WDRB News.